Hey there, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving deep into a topic that's often misunderstood but incredibly important. Why chasing money alone won't make you happy. In a world that often equates success with wealth, it's easy to get caught up in the pursuit of money. But what if I told you that true happiness goes beyond your bank account? Join us as we explore the psychology behind the pursuit of wealth, the impact it has on our well-being, and the keys to finding fulfillment beyond financial success. If you're ready to discover the real secret to lasting happiness, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss an episode. I think everybody should get rich and famous and do everything they ever dreamed of so they can see that it's not the answer. Quote by Jim Carrey. Money doesn't have actual value. Now, before you write me off as another influencer guru about to bash you over the head with a bunch of money cliches and explain that money is just paper and it's us that give it value, ask yourself two questions. What makes you happy in the world? What would you do with unlimited wealth? Read those questions again and ponder your answers. Make sure that the answers you have in your mind are the truth. If you're like most guys, these questions have very different answers. Why? Because what money gets you has very little to do with what brings you joy in life. Family brings us joy. Laughter brings us joy. Beers over football bring us joy. A miserable man on a yacht is still a miserable man. Money is nothing more than one material thing to get you another material thing. It doesn't have value in and of itself and to a certain extent, it can't get you anything that will change your life. Let's face it, we all compare. Whether it's cars, houses, jobs, or girlfriends, every guy compares others' lives to their own. It's our way of determining how we're doing in life. Comparison to a degree is normal and healthy. Sometimes comparison is the fuel that pushes us to change and grow. Too many man, that guy is really awesome or I wish I had what he has is, and you end up changing your life for the better. Healthy comparison is nothing more than inspiration. That said, overcomparison is a huge problem, especially when you're chasing money. Overcomparison doesn't leave any room for contentment because trust me, there will always be someone with more and better than you. If you earn twice what you do now, do you really think you'd be content? No, the likelihood is you would just start comparing yourself to someone who makes even more. The truth is, thinking that more money will lead to more happiness is nothing short of foolishness. Beyond being simply misunderstood, chasing money can actually lead to unhappiness when it starts to distract from things that bring happiness. It's the classic picture of a man getting home from the office with his kids already sound asleep, his wife dozing on the couch, and dinner cold on the table. Money's danger is not primarily in and of itself, but what it distracts us from and keeps us away from. What good is a million dollars if your family is falling apart, your body is deteriorating, and your mental health is eroding? Once your family is fed and your basic needs are met, money isn't going to be what puts a smile on your face. So, you're after happiness, and more money isn't going to do it. What now? You're not alone. Millions of men worldwide have been trying to figure out the true secret to happiness for as long as we have been around. What they've found is, well, that happiness doesn't exist. Let me clarify that. Happiness doesn't exist as an achievable goal. As discussed above, a life void of stress or discomfort will be more content, but hoping to attain joy by having more things is fruitless. Happiness is created by fulfillment, and fulfillment by doing things that matter to you. Rather than chase money and try to buy happiness, invest your energy into the following five. The surest way to attain happiness is to focus on building and maintaining your relationships. This is where satisfaction in life comes from, not another zero in your bank account or car in your garage. Understanding that monetary success has little to do with life fulfillment will set you apart from the mediocrity of the world and allow you to go after what really matters. If you look at the lives of many of the richest men on earth, you'll notice a trend. Many, though not all of them, live lavish lives with incredibly fractured relationships. Donald Trump, three marriages, Elon Musk, three marriages, Bill Gates, divorced. While I'm not discounting these men's achievements or claiming they aren't fulfilled, one thing is clear, they had to sacrifice invaluable things to get to where they are now. Success without fulfillment is the ultimate failure, quote by Tony Robbins. No amount of money will ever make up for the pain of broken relationships. What you should be pursuing is who you could be, and associated with that, you should be attempting to formulate some conception of the highest good that you can conceive of. Dr. Jordan Peterson A man's chief concern, after tending to the relationships that give him a foundation, should be to find a direction that gives him purpose. 
We live in an epidemic of purposelessness where people are so preoccupied with stuffing themselves with sugar, video games and porn, that they never actually ask whether or not they are content. According to Harry's Masculinity Report, an in-depth study of 5,000 men aged 19, 95, the strongest predictor of a positive mindset in men by far is satisfying employment. Hard work is the cornerstone of a contented man that all else is built upon. As a man, you must have silent time each day to reflect on your life, your goals, and whether or not your current actions reflect your ultimate purpose. Stop trying to make yourself comfortable and make yourself purposeful. It is only by pursuing something with purpose that we find fulfillment and contentment. Contentment is a byproduct of purpose and personal growth. In many ways, life is a game of luck. We don't decide what family, country, or economic status we are born into. We don't have a say in our father's alcoholism or our mother's neglect. To the pessimist, life is a game of chance one big messy game of chance. To the optimist, however, life is a game of opportunity where one should base their success not on how well they do compared to others, but how well they do with what they've been given. Health is one thing that is largely up to you. In a world where so much seems left to chance, this is not a blessing that you should take lightly. By taking care of your physical and mental needs, more specifically, the amount and quality of your sleep, the amount and quality of the food you consume, adequate water consumption, regular exercise, limited time on your screen, frequent time in nature. You will give yourself a foundation to experience contentment frequently and at a more fundamental level. Dr. Thomas Gilovich, a psychology professor at Cornell, has been studying the relationship between money and happiness for two decades. In one of his famous studies, he asked participants to rank their happiness after large material and experiential expenditures, a car vs an expensive vacation. While their initial ratings were found to be similar over time, their satisfaction with the material possession decreased while their satisfaction with the experience increased. Simply put, the memories of experiences with people you love will always be more valuable than anything you can hold in your hands or drive around really fast. Money can't change the way you feel about yourself, but people can. The futile quest for happiness through wealth has led men to all manner of conclusions. One conclusion that has been largely neglected is that while going after money for money's sake will leave you hollow, pursuing money with the goal of giving it away is actually an extremely viable route to happiness. Giving creates one of the most powerful dopamine releases you can experience. So powerful that studies show that gift givers get more long-term happiness from the giving than receivers do from receiving. So rather than saving up for a new car for yourself, consider giving that car to someone who needs it more than you do. You'll actually get more out of it. Men by nature need something to pursue. We are beings of action and purpose driven by desires to be better, get more, and fulfill ourselves. The problem is we are after the wrong thing. We have put all of our purpose and intention, all of that fire that makes us men, in the wrong direction. We have gone after money. Sooner or later all men learn that money isn't the answer to happiness, it's not money people want, and yet that is all we pursue because we believe it is what we want. Money can decrease discomfort and bring temporary joy, but ultimately a man's well-being is not built by attaining more money. True happiness and fulfillment come first and foremost from healthy relationships, then passion and purpose, physical health, and the prioritization of experience over possessions. So if you're tired of your alarm clock waking you up to a miserable job and deteriorating relationships, I suggest you change your priorities and start finding a way to fulfill yourself rather than fill your wallet. And that's a wrap on today's exploration of why chasing money alone won't make you happy. We hope you found this discussion enlightening and thought-provoking. If you enjoyed today's video and want to continue exploring topics that matter, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. We have plenty more insightful content coming your way. Stay connected with us on social media for even more discussions, behind-the-scenes content, and community interaction. We love hearing from you. Did today's topic resonate with you? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Share your experiences and insights with our community. 